hello folks welcome back to another tutorial of metasploit in previous video i explained about basic concept of penetration testing and uh, different modules of metasploit if you haven't checked that video i suggest you to check that video please in this video i'm going to talk about first phase of penetration testing uh, which is intelligence gathering and how to use database services in Metasploit. Now, let me give you brief information on uh, intelligence gathering. Intelligence gathering is the first basic step towards penetration testing. Intelligence gathering is a process of collecting information about a target through various techniques, uh, which includes port scanning, banner grabbing, and various other scans. At this step, you need to think like an attacker and you should collect as much information about your target system as possible. The more information we have, the better our, uh, our chances will be of exploiting the target. During the information gathering phase, our main focus is to collect facts about the target machine such as uh, the IP address, available services, and open ports. This information plays a vital role in the process of penetration testing. There are two types of uh, information gathering, uh, passive and active information gathering. Now uh, you may ask what is passive information gathering. So let me, uh, let me give a definition about uh, passive information gathering. This technique is used to gain information about the target without having any physical access or connectivity to it. Uh, this means we use other sources to get information about the target such as by using the whois query or NS lookup. Uh, let's say uh, our target is an uh, online web application then a simple whois lookup can provide us a lot of information uh, like uh, its IP address, its domains, uh, subdomains, the location of the server and the hosting server and so on. Now let's see what is uh, active information gathering. In active information gathering, we interact directly with the system to learn more about it. Uh, we conduct scans to determine what services are running uh, but be careful if you get careless while active information gathering you might be caught by an IDS which is uh, intrusion uh, detection system uh, which is not a good outcome for if you are performing covert penetration test so I hope uh, you get the clear picture about information gathering now uh, uh, in the beginning I mentioned that we are gonna talk about uh, database services as well. So this is a very important thing to, to discuss. Uh, before we start information gathering, we should consider how we are going to record the results that we achieve. Uh, what I am trying to say is, uh, keeping a track of your result is always a good idea. When you are running a complex penetration test uh, with a uh, lot of targets uh, it is very hard to keep track of everything uh, that you have done on the target network this is where database system come to rescue and it is always a better approach to store the results automatically alongside when you conduct a penetration test uh, to achieve this functionality, we can use database uh, in Metasploit. Metasploit has uh, built-in support for the PostgreSQL database system. It is also support uh, MySQL database system. Now let's see uh, how to configure Metasploit uh, database system. To check if uh, Metasploit is currently connected to a database or not, we can just type db uh, underscore status command. 
if you are connected it tells you connected to msf and your connection type which is a postgresql uh, as i mentioned before uh, this is uh, by default database system in a metasploit and if you are not connected to database then type command service postgresql start afterward check the status whether it has started or not here let me uh, let me clear one more thing before metasploit 5 we had to initialize the database before using it but uh, with with the recent version of metasploit the database is automatically initialized there is another very important tool we should talk about uh, in metasploit which is a workspace now you may be wondering what is workspace workspace allow us to work on a several different projects without using a separate database for each of them let's say you work on a project one you scan some host and find some vulnerabilities and everything get gets stored in the default workspace now you start working on another project you run more scans scan more host and uh, this results also be stored in the default database so what happened here uh, your your results from a project one and your new projects result are stored in a default database both of your projects uh, scan results are mixed up by looking at this whole mess either you stop working or you need to work again on both project this is where workspace come to rescue workspace allows us to create separate working area for all of our projects and this way we can keep everything organized now let's have a look at the options I'm going to type uh, here workspace hyphen h well this explains everything that uh, we can do here uh, we can list switch add delete delete all and rename workspace much easier to work with right now let's create a new workspace command will be workspace hyphen a uh, I'm gonna name it uh, project 1 to view all the workspace we can simply type workspace command and it will list all the workspaces that you have created here you can see default workspace and the one we created so this is how we can use workspace in metasploit and uh, that's it uh, for today's video uh, i'm gonna end this video here because i don't want to stretch this video for long otherwise you guys will be bored soon uh, as usual i hope you found this video informative and learned something useful and uh, if you like this video please uh, like subscribe and share it uh, i'm signing off now i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching ciao